Okay, this is video six. It covers section 6.7 on interest and the interest formula. So you should have a sheet to fill out as you watch this. Here we go. So what is interest? Um, we're gonna learn a formula for how to find it, but what is interest? So interest kind of works in two ways. Um, if you are borrowing money, so if you are taking out a loan or if you put money on a credit card, then interest is bad for you. Interest hurts you. That means they're going to charge you extra, a certain percent extra for borrowing the money or for putting it on your credit card and paying it back later. So interest when you're borrowing money is bad. It's extra. It's like an extra fee that comes, um, that gets added on to what you owe back. Okay. If you're investing money, like in a savings account or in an investment, then interest is good. And that means you get extra money, a certain percentage extra money from what you put in back as, um, as your reward for investing. So it's this, actually the same formula that we use for both types of interest. It works the same way. It's just one of them, the interest is going to be bad because it means you owe more. And one of them, it means the interest is good because you're going to get that much more back on your, on your like savings account. So let's talk about um, a couple vocab words. Interest is going to be an amount of money, and that's um, the amount of money that either they add on to your bill as the fee or the amount of money that they add on to your like bank account as um, that reward for investing. Okay, So interest is the, the small amount, the percent. Um, principal is the starting money, like the starting value. Um, the principal would be like the amount that you put on the credit card or the amount of the loan that you take out or the amount that you put into the savings account at the beginning. And then interest rate is the percentage that, sorry, so interest rate is the, the percent that you gain that interest. Okay, so let's fill in this formula. This looks just like your paper. The first one is interest. Okay, so this is the formula to give us the interest. Um, you're going to start with your principal. So as they say here, that's a dollar amount, whatever you, your starting value is. The rate here, the annual interest rate, goes here. And you need to write that an interest rate as a decimal, so in decimal form. Okay, And then you multiply it by time. Okay, so if you leave your money in the account for 10 years, you're going to make more in interest than if you only leave your money in a savings account for two years. Okay, so time plays into this. Now, this is the simple interest formula. There are other more complicated interest formulas um, that we are not going to do this year, just this formula. Okay, so in the box where it says formula, this is what you're going to want to write down. I equals PRT. I is the interest. P is the principal, A or R, sorry, R is the rate. Make sure you write it as a decimal. And then T is time and it has to be in years. So if you come across a problem that says like 36 months, you need to convert that into years first before you plug it in here. Okay, so we're gonna use this formula to answer a few examples or do a few examples together. All right, example one, finding the interest. You put $200 in a savings account. So here you're going to earn 2% simple interest per year for your money sitting in that account. Okay. So the questions are, what is the interest earned after five years? And what is the balance after five years? So I'm going to put this so I have a little bit more room. Okay. So let's label what information we have. They tell me that I have $200 to put in the account. That would be my principal. 2% interest rate is my rate. Okay, and then they're telling me that I'm looking at five years, so that's my time. Okay, so if I write down my formula, I equals PRT, I can plug in what I know, where it goes. I'm looking for the interest. The principal is $200. The rate as a decimal, right, is 0.02, and the time is five years. So I can type that into my calculator and figure out the interest. So do that quick. So it looks like I get $20 for the amount of interest that my uh, money would earn while it's sitting there. So that's the answer to A. 
But then it says, what's the now the new balance after those five years? Well, you put in 200, you added an extra 20 in interest, so now you'd be up to $220 total. All right, what about example two? Now finding the rate. Okay, again, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna start with my formula. Okay, it says you put $700 in an account. The account earns $224 in simple interest in eight years. Find the rate. So again, I'm just gonna figure out what I know. Looks like I start with $700, that's my principal. The amount of interest comes out to 224 and it's been there for eight years. That's my time. So if I plug everything in, where it goes, principal is 700, I don't know the rate, and it's been there for eight years. So to solve this one, I'm trying to get R by itself. So I'm going to use my calculator and multiply eight times 700, which is 5,600, and I'm gonna divide by that so that it cancels out. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. And I get a rate of, a rate of 0 0.04 here for my rate. And I need to turn that back into a percent. So 4% was my annual interest rate. So that's an example to find rate. Let's move on to example three. Okay. What about if they ask me to find time? Well, they should be giving me the information I need. Um, whoops. They should be giving me the information I need um, except for T, and we'll be solving for time. So I'll copy my formula down. Let's read the question here. A bank offers three different savings accounts, okay? Option one, option two, and option three. The simple interest rate is determined by how much money you put in, right? If you put more principal in, you get a better rate. How long does it take an account with a principal of $800 to earn hundred bucks in interest? Well, $800 would fit into this category. I don't know if you can read that. This says 500 up to 5,000. So we're looking at an interest rate of 2%, right? If I put in more than 5,000, I'd get a better interest rate, but we're still here in this category. So it looks like principal of 800, a rate of 2%, and I'm looking for the time, T, and I want my interest to be 100 bucks, okay? So I'm gonna multiply the 800 by 2% there so that I can divide and solve for T. So this and this multiplied together was 16, so I'm gonna divide by 16 on both sides to cancel out and get T by itself, and it looks like T is, 6.25, and then we would label that anytime we solve for T, it's gonna be years. Okay, so six years and what, three months it would take for your account to earn $100 in interest. Okay, all right, so that's solving for time. Example four. Finding how much um, you would pay for a loan. Okay, so you borrow 600 bucks to buy a violin, Okay, the simple interest rate on your credit card or for that loan is 15%. Looks like that's the rate. You pay off the loan after five years. So you're, you're gaining interest on what you owe for five years. That's your time. Okay, so starting with 600, 15% interest rate, five years. How much do you pay for the loan? Okay, here's my equation. We should write this down every time, I equals PRT. Plug in what we know, where it belongs, $600 in uh, principal, a rate of 15%, turn that into a decimal, five years, and this is going to give me the interest, okay? So that would be, let's multiply that out, okay, so I get a that the interest is $450. Now, they asked me, how much do you pay for the loan? Well, it's an extra $450. So you already borrowed $600. They're going to ask you to pay an extra $450 for the fact that you took out a loan and borrowed the money. And that means you really end up paying $1,050 for that violin. So a little bit more than the $600 you thought it was costing you. 
So that's why credit cards can be so dangerous. If you put that violin on your credit card, you end up paying way more than the violin is worth just because you had to take out a loan to get it. So credit cards and that interest adds up really fast and you pay way more for things than maybe what you think you're paying or what it's worth. All right. Okay, sorry, here we are. Finding interest, or sorry, finding principal. So start with your formula. I know this is just repetitive. Um, lots of different variables we can solve for here. Interest rate on your account is 2.4%. Cool, there's your rate. You invest your money for 36 months. Okay, I wanted to show you this one because if they give you months, you have to turn it into years. So how do I turn months into years? Well, since there's 12 months in every year, if I divide this by 12, I can see that this is really just three years. So that's my time. And how much principal do you have to start with in order to make 200 bucks in interest? Okay. So we'll plug everything in where it goes. I want 200 in interest. I'm looking for the principal. My rate is as a decimal. And multiply that by three years. Okay. So I'm going to multiply these two numbers together in my calculator so I can sol solve for P. Okay, so this gave me 0.072, so I'm going to divide by that 0.072 on both, oops, this doesn't cancel out, but divide um, on both sides in order to get P by itself, and it looks like P is going to be 2777 and 77 cents. So you'd have to start with at least that much money in your account at the beginning in order to earn 200 bucks in interest. Okay. All right. We have one more example. Example six. Monthly payments. There might be one like this on your uh, test. So I wanted to make sure we did one together. Your family borrows $4,700 for a spring break trip. The interest rate, wherever they borrow that money from, is 12% and you wait two years to pay it back, okay? So the question is, what would your monthly payment be if you repay the total amount that you owe over three years, okay? So I'm gonna start with my formula. Let me make this a little smaller. Write that down every time so it sticks in your head. Looks like the principal is 4,700. That's the amount that we initially borrow. The rate is 12% on our credit card or wherever we, we put the money and uh, it sits there for two years before we pay it back, so two years. So let's find out how much interest we have here. 4,700 times 0.12 times two years. I get 1,128 bucks. Now, that's just the extras in fees, okay? Like your credit card fee. Now I need to add that on to the 4,700 that we already borrowed because we have to repay the whole thing. And that means we are now up to a total of $5,828 for that spring break trip, okay? But they ask your monthly payment. So if you split that up and pay it back every month, a little bit every month over three years, how much would it be each month, okay? Well, again, we just saw that in the previous problem, three years, I need to multiply that by 12 months to figure out a total number of months. So I want to take that total and split it up over 36 months. So the 5,828 divided by 36 months comes to 161.88. So you'd have to pay $161.88 every month for 36 months in a row to pay off that um, spring break trip, okay? So that's the end of video number six for the interest formula. Uh, I think we covered all the different examples. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a good day.